Ren, let's see what's making news. Whoa, <laughs> it's NASA's Ingenuity helicopter. <laughs> After three years of groundbreaking research on Mars, it sent its final message back to Earth. Here's Joe. Saying goodbye is never easy. And yesterday, we lost an intergalactic friend who taught us so much and... <laughs> Um, <clears throat> um, let's, um, let's take a look at where it all began, shall we? Um, the Ingenuity Mars helicopter made its 287 million kilometre journey to the Red Planet on the belly of the Perseverance rover back in 2021, with the goal of finding out if flight was possible in Mars's extreme conditions. And on April 19th, 2021, Ingenuity made history with its first ever 30-second flight. But Ingenuity has performed its first flight. It was only meant to fly five times, but defied all expectations and flew 72 times. On January 18th this year, though, it lost contact with NASA while landing and crashed, officially ending the mission. Yesterday, Ingenuity beamed its final signal back down to Earth, commemorated by NASA on social media. This isn't farewell for good, though. NASA say Ingenuity will keep collecting images and weather data until its memory space is filled up, which could take up to 20 years. Ah, cool. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me I cried on national TV for nothing? Floods have been causing chaos at one of the world's busiest airports. This was a view from a plane at Dubai's airport after United Arab Emirates was hit with its heaviest rainfall in 75 years. It flooded houses and roads and brought the city to a standstill. There was also severe flooding in neighbouring Oman. From smashing swimming records to topping tennis legends and uh, uh, racing couches, <laughs> Aussies have been doing a lot in the world of sport. Here's Sass. Alex Di Manua has conquered King of the Clay Rafael Nadal in the second round of the Barcelona Open. To be honest, it was an unbelievable experience to, to be able to play Rafa here on his court uh, in front of a packed crowd. Taking on the former world number one and 12-time Barcelona Open champion was a daunting task for the Aussie, but he pulled it off 7-5-6-1. Now to swimming, where Titan Kaylee McEwen has smashed a 14-year-old Aussie record on the first night of the National Swimming Championships on the Gold Coast. She powered through the women's 200-metre individual medley in only 2 minutes and 6.99 seconds, just under the old record set by Stephanie Rice. Now put your helmets on, because we're charging at full speed over to Darwin. These guys are revving up there lounge chairs in a race like no other. The couch surfing race takes place every year to raise awareness for youth homelessness, which often involves people couch surfing or staying with mates. I have friends that don't really have a place to stay and it's just good to raise awareness for everyone. Now, construction enthusiasts, it's time to ask, can we build it? For example, an electric humanoid robot. Can we build it? Well, if by we you mean Boston Dynamics, yes we can. The American robotics company has introduced the replacement to its old Atlas robot, which has been amazing us and freaking us out a bit since 2013. While the old Atlas used hydraulics, its replacement is fully electric. Now to some elaborate sculptures made entirely out of Lego. Can we build it? Well, I can't, but Lego artist Nathan Sawaya can, and his incredible works are now on display in Melbourne. Oh, they're all so cute. Okay, that one's mildly terrifying. And finally, can you build the strength needed to dance on the tips of your toes? Well, this group of 353 dancers in New York certainly can, and they just came together to try and break the world record for most ballerinas on point at the same time. Just standing on point for a minute. Not too difficult. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, might need a little more building in that department, but uh, that's all we have time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!